Andrew Tucker, and welcome to Andrew Tucker World. What's going on, all my great people? What's going on, all my boxing fans? <laughs> uh, just wanted to talk about a few fights, you know, potential uh, two fights, fights coming up, and potential a potential fight between um, two fighters. Um, I just want to say thank you. Although I want to thank all the Tucker Army, uh, the UK Army, you know, all my uh, friends, my family, my supporters for showing love. For you. Thank you guys for your prayers. Thank you guys for your love and support. Um, as far as my health goes, you know, um, just I'm just going to give you guys a little quick update on that before I get, in, get into, you know, the fights. Um... I'm doing a little. I'm doing. A, I'm doing a little better. You know what I mean. Um, doing. A, doing a little better. You know, I'm blessed and highly favored. Thank God <sighs> that I was able to recover. Uh, for you guys, for you guys that didn't know, probably like a week and a half ago, or you could say last Friday, uh, I uh, had a mini stroke. Uh, mini stroke. I I recovered. Uh, by the grace of God, thank God. Thank you guys for your prayers, for people that that show love, for people that that hit me up, that tech, you know, that text me, that you know. <sighs> thank you, all the UK Army, the Tucker Army, all my supporters, all my family, my friends. Thank you guys for showing love and support. Thank you guys for your prayers. I appreciate it. Um, I'm on high blood pressure medication. You know what I mean? Um. Um. And I think they're talking about the cholesterol pills and stuff like that. But um, other than that, uh, you know, I'm I'm doing I'm doing better. I'm doing a little better. You know, um, just got to most definitely slow down. You know, <sighs> there's a lot of fights I want to talk about, but I can't do a whole lot of talking. You know, health health purposes. You know, you know. Uh, but um. I can honestly say that, um, you know, I'm doing better. You know what I mean? Um, I just, I don't know when I'll be able to do live commentary again, you know, uh, because of health reasons and things of that nature. But I, I want to get my health in order. I want to get my health, get my health back in order, get my health in place, you know, get my health taken care of, you know, going, you know, when I, I'm able to go back to the gym, go to the gym, eat healthy, you know, go to the gym, eat healthy, <sighs> you know, uh, drink a lot of water, stay on my, of course, I'm going to stay on my herbal teas, my vitamins and things of that nature, a lot of herbal supplements and things of that nature, you know, but other than that, that's enough about me. <sighs> uh, Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk. August the 20th, that's a fight that I'm looking forward to. You know, much love and respect to both fighters, Anthony Joshua and Alexander Usyk. Great fighters, two of, two of some of the best fighters in the heavyweight division. I think that fight can go either way. I, I'm, I'm slightly leaning towards Joshua this time. I have my reasons, but I think that fight can go either way. Usyk can win again, you know what I mean? He's just a very fundamentally sound superior pure boxer puncher uh anthony joshua is the elite level as well he's a elite level boxer puncher technical brawler and um i just think that that's gonna it's gonna be a great fight you know what i mean it's gonna be a really good fight it's gonna be an epic battle a, a good heavyweight showdown I, I don't think we're gonna be disappointed when it, <laughs> i don't think we're gonna be disappointed when it comes to that fight you know stylistically i think that I, it's going to be an epic battle. Like the first fight, I think it's going to be even better. Both fighters are going to going to come going to step in the ring better than they was last time. Usyk is coming coming in there with the with the game plan uh, to defeat Anthony Joshua again. Um, Joshua's coming in there with a the game plan to get his titles back, to make a statement, and to prove to the people, to the doubters. Uh, and to even to the haters <laughs> uh, and to people that believe that he's not the same fighter and can't do it. You know, Usyk is just too, 
too old, too skilled and on another level he's gonna I guess he's gonna want to make a statement and prove those guys wrong that he you guys haven't seen the best Joshua he gets better along with competition with opposition against the op opposition certain opposition competition certain opponents you know when he lost to Andrew Ruiz, Ruiz Jr his first defeat was able to come back something like the comeback king <laughs> Uh, and I think he can, it's, can. It can be the same with Usyk, but uh, it's a fifty-fifty fight for me. But in the way, I don't know why I, f I feel Joshua is going to win. You know, uh, um, by technical knockout, maybe like the ninth or tenth, tenth round or something like that. But I could be wrong. A lot of majority of the times I'm right, but a lot of times I have been wrong. I mean, a, a majority of the times I'm right, but it's been a few times I have been wrong. You know, but I, I'm okay with being wrong. You know what I mean? <laughs> and and I, I am man enough to admit that, you know, I was wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, it's boxing. You know, upsets can happen. Um, sometimes uh, your favorite fighter can lose the fight. You know what I mean? The fighter that you're rooting for or you're a big fan of. Because I have love and respect for all these fighters. You know, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm more of a fan of a certain fighter over a certain fighter. You know what I mean? maybe because of style and personality and the way, you know, a lot of other things, but I don't judge fighters. I don't, I'm not biased or not like that. I have love and respect for a lot of fighters. I appreciate what they do in the ring. They, they, they put their life on the line for, to entertain us. They're prize fighters. Of course, they, of course they, you know, they have to get paid. You know, feed their families to take care of their families and things of that nature. Uh, and uh, of course, the money is kind of like number one nowadays. Is but number two should be legacy and wanting to be great and fighting the best and proving yourself. That's why they pretty much in this in this business. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to to prove themselves, to, to display to display the skills, to display the talent, just to, to display uh, who they are. I mean, to show who they are, to be known as a and then the day to be known as a a, le a living legend. Or in a future Hall of Famer, or I'll become a Hall of Famer and be long be known as a legend in the sport. It's all about legacy. That should be number one, though, really, honestly. But um, Javante Tank Davis, you know, we got uh, Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. That's the fifty fifty fight. Both have hand speed. Uh, you could probably say Ryan's slightly a little faster, slightly just a little faster. But the timing, they both have impeccable timing. They both have impeccable timing. They both have hand speed. They both have power. They both are explosive. They both have that ferociousness, the grit, the toughness, the mental fortitude to uh, to really push and to really dig down deep. You know what I'm saying? We seen Ryan get dropped and was able to get back up to stop his to stop a very tough, uh, skilled and dangerous uh, veteran. You know what I mean? So. And he hit him was a very impressive win his last fight, you know, against Javier Fortuna, a multi a multi division champion, very crafty, uh, very crafty uh, boxer puncher, you know what I mean? Uh, also technical brawler in a way, you know. And for, for Javier Fortuna is, is very rugged, very tough, you know, and, and, and style this style wise can be tough for any fighter. You know what I mean? Ryan just showed that he just one of those elite level fighters used to use the jab. That's what I wanted a lot more from Ryan to use that jab <laughs> to set up the right hand, to set up the combinations, to set up the, the body attack, the head, the head, the counters to the head, the combinations to the head, to the art of the body, you know, to move his feet, you know, to, to, to pivot lateral movement, to get in, to get out, to counter from different angles, to set traps, you know, and things of that nature to move his head a lot more. He moved his head a little better. Defense was solid, but he moved. He got to move his head a little bit more, just a little bit more, Ryan, a little bit more. You know what I mean? Well, some things you could, he haven't even displayed yet. Some things he even showed you, he haven't even showed you guys yet. But you guys are gonna see really how great and talented this kid is. But he's a monster. He's a problem, a force to be reckoned with. There's a lot of great fighters out there. There's a lot of guys that's gonna push him, that's gonna challenge him, whether he win or lose. He's he's one of those young fighters that is the future of boxing. Javante, same for Javante Tank Davis, very explosive, hand speed, mean combinations, and, and uh, knockout artists. Very, very strong, uh, 
from 135 to 140. You know, um, he's dangerous. Uh, and I just love how he set traps. He's a good counter puncher, dangerous boxer puncher. And I just know that him and Ryan, them guys, them two styles collide. It's an epic battle. It's a great fight. It's all about who catches who first, who breaks down who. But it's going to be competitive, a back and forth action pack fight. Not too many shots uh, need to, need, needs to be, uh, not, they can't afford to take too many power shots coming from each other. You know what I mean? We hit, we see whose who's chin is going to be strong, whose head is hard. You know, uh, who chin will be tested because Ronson Davis can be, can get hit. If Ryan can get hit, and it's all about who will be able to take whoever, whoever power shots, whoever, whoever can be, whoever can take the power shots the best, who has the strong chin, who has the hard head. But if we make it a chess match, avoid too many, avoid the big shots. Of course, Ryan can move his head, and I believe he will move his head. Going up against Javante Davis, I believe he will box smart and 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 be smart. You know, going into the ring, uh, displaying his talent, displaying his skills. The same for Javante Tate Davis. It's a fifty fifty fight. You know, Javante Tate Davis can win the fight. Uh, Ryan Garcia can win the fight. You know, Canelo Alvarez versus you know Gennady Golovkin. It's gonna be a war. It's gonna be a war. I can't say too much on that fight. <laughs> But it's gonna be a war. It's gonna be stylistically. It's it's an entertaining fight. Um, Gennady Golovkin is still even at the age. He's still dangerous. He's, he's still tough. You know, um, he's still a very accurate, very effective, dangerous boxer puncher slash technical brawler. You know, uh, Canelo. I don't see him knocking him out. I don't see him stopping him. I just see maybe him slightly outpointing Gennady Golovkin. You know, uh, winning a, a unanimous decision. Uh, maybe it can be close again, and maybe Canelo could walk, maybe walk away with a split decision. But I don't see a technical knockout or a knockout for Canelo Alvarez. I could be wrong. Gennady Golovkin still has still has a, uh, a a chance to win the fight. He still has a great chance. Uh, I'm not kind of count a fighter out, knowing if I see a fighter still has still has something left in him and still has what it takes and still in great shape and still dangerous, still has the power, still has the skill, still has that dangerous jab to set up the counters, to set up the body attacks, to set up the head shots, you know, to set up the combination, to set up just the wall. I mean, it's going to be a war. It's going to be another epic battle, just like the first, especially like the second one, the second fight. You know, the trilogy is going to be an epic battle. But that's all I got, man. I love you guys. You know, one maybe one day I can get back to this live commentary. But I know it's going to be certain fights that I'm not going, <laughs> that I'm, I have no choice. Whether I'm 50% or 60% or maybe even, you know, I'm going to have to do live commentary for certain fights that's coming up. But uh, And then Terrence Bud Crawford versus Aaron Spence Jr., that's another fight I want to talk about for another video. That's another another fight I want to talk about, and that's another video. But love you guys, man. Appreciate the love and support. Thank you for you. Thank you guys for your prayers. Andrew Tucker, Andrew Tucker World. I'm out. Much love and respect.